you struggle with shoulder pain or tightness throughout the day? In this video, I'm gonna show you why the shoulder needs mobility for pain-free shoulders. And my top three shoulder mobility exercises to get back motion and decrease pain instantly. Does this sound like you? Looking up different exercises on the internet, trying them, and maybe getting some results, but not lasting? This can be a complete waste of time. How do I know this? Because I'm Dr. Joey Seaforth and we've helped thousands through our one-on-one -on -one coaching program eliminate shoulder pain and get back to daily life without issues. Let's first start by talking about what mobility is and what actually makes up the shoulder joint. Mobility is referred to how we actively control the movement of our shoulder throughout the day. So by us going to different positions, that is referring to how our shoulder moves and the mobility of the shoulder. There are a few different areas that need to be addressed when you're dealing with shoulders, including the neck, the T-spine, the shoulder blade, and the shoulder, which is a ball and socket joint. The shoulder is comprised of two different things, the shoulder joint and also the shoulder blade in the back. One of the most common things that I see clinically is this anterior shoulder pain in the front right here. Let me show you what's going on. As we're raising our arm above our head, if this shoulder blade and shoulder are not working optimally together, it's gonna to cause a pinch. See this gap right here? Watch what happens as we lift the arm above our head. It causes that pinching sensation right in the front. That's because this shoulder blade is not allowed to upperly rotate fully. Now let me show you on the other side. This shoulder blade is actually able to move the entire way. So as it comes up, it clears that space and allows the shoulder to get into more rotation. So we know that for improving shoulder mobility, we have to address the shoulder blade in the back. We also have the thoracic spine in the back or our T-spine. It makes up the area underneath our neck and in between our shoulder blades. For healthy shoulder mobility, we need to be able to extend and also rotate in our thoracic spine to open up the space for our shoulders to breathe and get into positions freely. Now that we have discussed the anatomy and biomechanics of the shoulder, what I want you guys to do next is to stand up, move the shoulders to different positions. You can go forward, to the side, behind, across. Get a baseline of how everything is feeling because we're gonna compare it at the end after we're doing the exercises. Check out these three shoulder mobility exercises to improve motion of the shoulder and also decrease pain and tension. The first exercise is a wall slide. You wanna start off by walking up to the wall and placing your hands on the wall and leaning into it. Next, you will push your hands slightly into the wall, slide your arms up and lean your chest forward. Do not force the motion. You should feel your shoulder blades on the back of your shoulder moving up and around as you're reaching up through the wall and leaning into it. It. Complete three sets of 10 of this exercise, moving into the motion nice and slow and controlling it the entire time. The wall slide is designed to address the shoulder blade impairments of not getting that upward rotation and causing a lot of jamming at that shoulder to make up the motion. The next exercise is called thread the needle and that's going to address the thoracic rotation in the upper back, freeing up the shoulder. First, grab a foam roller for this exercise. To start, you're gonna get on hands and knees position. You're gonna keep one elbow straight that you're putting your weight through. The other one's gonna be touching the foam roller in between you. Next, you will reach your arm across your body, touching the foam roller and letting it slide and allow you to rotate fully in your upper back. Really focus on leaning across and letting the foam roller glide you into that rotation and opening everything up. After you complete rolling through, you're gonna come back nice and slow into that original position. You should be feeling movement in your upper back T-spine area as you're bringing your shoulder across and coming back out. Complete two sets of 10 of this exercise on each side, not forcing the motion and breathing into it. This is gonna get better the more that you do them with the reps. The last exercise is called a bench opener. To start, you're gonna grab a broom, PVC pipe, golf club, anything that you have that can keep your arms in the same position. This exercise is gonna restore upper thoracic extension, also stretching out the lats and freeing up any tight areas that you might have that's pulling everything down and compressing it. Start out by getting into a kneeling position, placing your elbows on the bench, palms up, and holding the PVC pipe in place. Next, you're gonna allow your hips to rock back and allow your chest to go towards the ground, getting that thoracic extension and opening everything up. The two areas that I expect you to feel it the most is gonna be the lats on the side coming up into the shoulder or also in between the shoulder blades and that upper T-spine. Like the other exercises, guys, we do not wanna force the motion. We wanna move whatever feels comfortable and breathing into it. Complete two sets of 10 with this exercise. After completing those exercises, you wanna retest all those initial assessments. You can go up front, to the side, behind, across, whatever feels sticky and felt sticky at the beginning, 
compare to see how it feels now after doing those exercises. Those three exercises are so important for improving how the shoulder is able to move. So that allows you to get into different positions throughout the day and also at the gym. One of the most underrated tools in the shoulder rehab world is focusing on mobility. So many providers just jump to giving you strengthening exercises right here, the classic ones that we see in physical therapy, when in reality, we should be focusing on the mobility and getting all that range of motion back first. Strengthening a shoulder that is not able to get in all these different positions is stiffing it up even more. A shoulder that is not able to rotate, lift overhead, or come behind or across is a recipe for disaster. You're asking for the body to compensate and cause pain in various positions because of it. Mobile shoulders are healthy shoulders. This is why having an accurate shoulder assessment is absolutely necessary in figuring out the true cause of your pain and how to fix it. Our clients average a 30 to 40% improvement in their shoulder symptoms and range of motion with one call. Some of them are even pain-free in as little as 15 days. Trying different exercise on the internet might give you some relief, but if you're looking for a long-term fix, text me the word pain to 720-710-4371 to get a tailored step-by-step -step approach on how to conquer your shoulder pain for good. The people looking to get out of pain are texting me right now. Stop living with this shoulder pain and let's get you a step-by-step -step process to fix this for good. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for free shoulder content and resources. At Comeback Performance and Wellness, our goal is to help a million people around the world avoid unnecessary imaging, surgeries, and injections, and getting back to an active lifestyle for the rest of their life.